The film began with Mrs. Barbara Cavetta, a teacher of St. George's School reporting for the first day of a new term. She always kept time and as she was watching the students report back, she noticed someone new. During a general staff meeting, the new art teacher Sheba Hart was introduced to the rest of the teachers and Barbara liked her a first glance to be her friend, because she thought Sheba was a good person since she sounded pure. Barbara was surprised at how Sheba easily caught up with the rest of the teachers and students. One day in Sheba's class, a student called Stephen Connolly started a fight with his classmate called Davis and she couldn't stop the fight. Barbara came in and since she was the most feared at school, she only said one word and they all stopped. On interrogating them as to why they were fighting, she realized that Steve was protecting Sheba's dignity after Davis was disrespective towards her. Sheba was impressed and appreciated her help, and from then, they became good friends, which was good for Barbara because she had no friends at school and she was the jealousy kind, because she hated seeing Sheba interacting with other teachers. After school, Sheba invited her to her home for the weekend to get to know each other, a gesture she really gets from other teachers which impressed her since Barbara was a loner with her cat Maggie as family. When that day came, Barbara went to the saloon to do her hair, she got some nice outfits for her age, bought flowers, and went to Sheba's place. The first thing that surprised her was Sheba's husband Richard Hart who was almost the same age as hers because she thought that by the looks of Sheba, her husband would be younger and then she felt sad for her after finding out that her son Ben Hart had Down syndrome and for her daughter, Polly Hart, she was just okay. Barbara was used to being alone so, she found it hard to interact with them, but later, she tried to catch up with them. After lunch, Sheba took Barbara to her secret studio where she opened up about her life and worries because she needed someone to talk to. Though the thing with Barbara was that even though people trusted her with their personal information, she never trusted any with her so, she didn't fully open up with Sheba as she did. And one thing she realized was that Sheba was unhappy. Barbara was glad that she now had a friend with whom they enjoyed each other's company. And one day on a school presentation towards Christmas, she grabbed a spare seat for Sheba, but she was nowhere to be seen so. She went to try and find her because she was missing out on the student's good performance, only to find her red-handed with Stephen Connolly, and Sheba had no idea that someone had seen them. Barbara was shocked by her indecent act, which was also a criminal offense so. She called her the following day to meet at 5 p.m. to talk about Stephen's issue, Sheba got nervous. And when that time came, she had to explain how it happened and why she did what she did, and this way, maybe Barbara would have a change of heart not to report her or report her after Sheba having Christmas with her family. Sheba was like, it all started on the day he dedicated his goal to her on the sports day which amused her at first and nothing more, Barbara herself happened to be there, and a few days later, he asked for her help in art and she began to meet her after classes with intentions of improving his art skills. Since he was talented and had the urge to learn, Sheba was impressed. She tried to stop the private lessons, but he was not the type that gives up easily so, he started stalking her instead. To get her attention back, he pretended to be in a vulnerable state claiming that his dad was hitting him, and yet his mom was ill with a kidney disease, so he had no one to run to, and she decided to be that person because he was vulnerable. She told him that if the father hits him again, he should go to her. She was like one day, she got a message from him to meet at 8 and she allowed it to happen despite the fact that they would meet in isolated places for her status where no one would expect them. But she didn't care at all because the times she spent with him were the times she felt the happiest even though she knew that it would get them in terrible trouble. She told Barbara that the day they met, it had already begun and that same evening, they still saw each other. That even though they had become friends, there was no way she could confess to her about it. Barbara used it to her advantage so that they could be long-term friends since she needed one by not reporting her because this way, Sheba would forever be in her debt but on the condition that she had to end the affair and she promised her to. On Christmas, Sheba got a message from Steve to meet outside for her gift from him, they met in secrecy just outside her house. She tried to end it with him like she had promised Barbara but she found it difficult. Because this relationship was the only thing that made her happy, she asked him to leave in pain. And he left her in tears. Because he always made her happy, Sheba continued secretly seeing Stephen in her studio since no one went there. This went on for quite some good time until when one day he showed up when Barbara too had come to see Sheba for comfort because her cat, which was family was about to die in just weeks. Barbara felt humiliated because she risked everything for her, but Sheba was like, she tried to end it but she couldn't. Barbara advised her that once he will get fade up of her, he will discard her like an old rag and he asked her to end it immediately or else she was going to tell her husband. Just like Barbara told her, that night, it was the same thing that happened after she found out that he lied about her parents to get her attention back. Steve told her that he was not serious at all about her and that what they were having was just fun. This broke her because she risked it all for him and she went back home in tears with Barbara's help. 
Barbara's intention was to spend her life with Sheba and somehow she managed to succeed in this because from the previous incident, the two became inseparable until one day when Barbara's cat died. Because it was her family, she needed Sheba to be there for her, but on this same day, Sheba's sick son had his first stage performance, and obviously she chose her son over Barbara. Barbara became mad and decided to revenge back by telling her desperate crush named Robert because she knew that he would do her revenge for her. Since he felt jealous and challenged by a young man because Sheba had kept rejecting him, Robert decided to spread the rumors. Stephen's parents got to know about it so they confronted her in her family's presence. This went viral in public, and since Richard was broken he wanted to be alone so, Sheba asked Barbara to crush in with her which she always wanted, but before she left, the husband was like she would have told her that she was lonely and not happy. Barbara was like the month she spent with Sheba was the happiest moment of her life and the time she never felt alone at all. Later on, Sheba found out from Barbara's diary that she was the one responsible for the rumors, they had a fight. She decided to go back to her husband and later on, she served her sentence of 10 months. If you have come this far, thanks for watching and consider subscribing now now.